Meanwhile, Indian Space and Research Organization's highly anticipated launch of the Earth Observation Satellite 3G Satellite 3G Sat1 has failed. The GSLV F10 Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle had blasted off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, but shortly after liftoff, the vehicle which was carrying the EOS3 satellite suffered a technical glitch. The rocket is a combination of multiple engines that are vertically stacked. The first two stages of the rocket that give initial thrust for liftoff and later carry the 52 meter tall vehicle to space performed as expected. However, shortly after the rocket switched over to its final stage, that is the cryogenic engine that burns liquid hydrogen and oxygen, a deviation was marked in its planned flight path. Attention all stations, this is Range Operations Director. Performance uh, anomaly observed in the cryogenic stage. Mission could not be uh, accomplished fully. UIS-3 mission could not be fully accomplished mainly because there is a technical anomaly observed in cryogenic stage. This I wanted to tell to all my friends. Now, several minutes of anxiety and stunned silence followed at ISRO's mission control in Sri Harikota. The cryogenic engine was supposed to perform from 4 minutes and 52, 56 seconds until 18 minutes in space, following which the satellite was supposed to be ejected into orbit at 18 minutes and 39 seconds. But that process was hit by a bit of a glitch sometime around 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Now, remember, this of course is the second failure of the GSLV Mark II variant of ISRO. The earlier failure was in 2010 when the vehicle had exploded nearly 45 seconds after liftoff. Now, EOS-3, an agile Earth observation satellite, was meant to provide near real-time imaging of large regions of interest at frequent intervals. And also our correspondent Siddharth MP, who has been tracking this story, has sent us this report. Listen in. The Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO's attempt to launch EOS-3, an Earth observation satellite, failed this morning. Dr. K. Shivan, Chairman ISRO, told the national broadcaster that there was an anomaly observed in the cryogenic engine. What this means is that the rocket's two initial engines, two sets of engines initially, had performed as expected for the first five minutes and it had ensured proper liftoff and it had taken the satellite weighing nearly 2.5 tons to space. But thereafter, after reaching an altitude of 139 kilometers, nearly five minutes into the flight, there was a third engine that was supposed to light up and fire. This was known as the cryogenic engine. So this crucial engine did light up on time and it fired on time. This engine was supposed to perform for a duration of 13 minutes. But thereafter, during the flight, almost one minute into that 13 minute flight of this engine in space, there was an anomaly observed and things didn't go as planned. That's when ISRO's monitors also showed that the rocket was not going in its planned path. This meant that the satellite was not ejected into its intended orbit and the mission indeed is a failure. From Chennai, this is Siddharth MP, Vion World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.